on this episode of Squire Studio Backstage. Join me as I take you along with us for a typical week in the Squire's family household on our suburban micro farm. See how we earn a living farming in our front and backyard, as well as come along with us for our weekly farmer's market here in downtown Alamogordo. I'm starting out this Monday making some jar flower arrangements to set out on our front porch farm stand. I'm taking some flowers that I harvested over the past week and a few that didn't sell from our weekend farmer's market, sprucing them up a little bit, trimming the stems, adding fresh water and foliage to make some fresh flower arrangements. In my dried flower arrangements, I put anywhere from 10 to 15 flowers, depending upon the size and type of flower that I have available, and then I charge $10 per jar.
So in today's front porch farm stand, we have some wheat-free oatmeal cookies made with almond flour. I have some fresh zucchini from our garden and a mix of Roma beefsteak and cherry tomatoes, as well as the flour jars that I just put together. When I put our front porch farm stand out, usually the flowers are the first to go and today they were our only sellers. Hello and good morning. It is Wednesday morning. Today is the midweek farmer's market. So we've been attending this farmer's market that's on Wednesday nights here in our town um, for July and August. And the market is set to run through September. So we've been doing it since um, it started in July. So what I'm about to do now is just harvest some basil. I take anywhere from two to three basil bunches to the market. Um, and I do about um, 14 or 15 stems of basil bunched for $2. So I really pack it in there because um, I don't want my basil to go to waste. I was using basil last year for flower arrangements and I haven't been using it a whole lot for flower arrangements this year year so I've been actually selling it as a culinary herb so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and get into this morning the basil is looking really good this basil is located in my front yard garden so you'll hear a lot of cars driving by because we're on one of the main through streets um, but yeah this is probably the best I've ever grown basil in the um, three years that I've been gardening this is Genovese basil and then over here, planted at the base of these tomato plants, this is purple opal basil. My um, tomato plants are in dire need of a pruning and being tied back, but I just haven't had an opportunity to do that in the past couple weeks. So I'm going to go ahead and get to harvesting a couple bunches of basil.
I did find a couple um, stems of basil in this tomato basil jungle that were a little bit longer. So I actually am going to use these for flower arrangements today. I'm going to do some um, jars of flowers and I'll use this as the greenery. Wednesdays are our prime baking days. If I can, I prefer to get my oatmeal cookies made on Tuesdays for the Wednesday night market. But if that's not a possibility, then I just bake on Wednesday afternoon. I always bake our wheat-free oatmeal cookies first so that they're not around any wheat flour. Once I'm done baking the oatmeal cookies, I wipe everything down and get new dishes to make our apple galettes.
The Wednesday night market takes place at our city's downtown historical Main Street, New York Avenue. Local vendors and residents gather for two hours every Wednesday night during the summer months. Our farmer's market features live music, local crafters and artisans, food trucks, local bakeries, as well as local farms and fresh produce growers. There are also several retail stores that stay open late Wednesday evenings to accommodate the residents at the farmer's market as they peruse in and out of the local shops and in between the variety of vendors. market went really well. We sold out of almost everything except for two bunches of basil, one jar of flowers, and one half pint of tomatoes. So other than that everything else sold so it was a good night um, and now I am at uh, my garden plot at our local community garden and I'm going to be transplanting some Kajari melon and some Pro cut sunflowers. So I'm gonna try to get all those in the ground here in the next hour or so. And yeah, and then I'll head back home and I'll probably end up starting um, maybe about a hundred more sunflower seeds. So that's my Thursday. Thursday evening, I needed to start about a hundred sunflower seeds and my daughter wanted to help. Okay, put one here. Just one? One? Yeah, put one here. And one? Mm hmm. And one? Mm hmm. One? Right here? Okay. Two seats! My little garden helper loves to do whatever it is I'm doing, so I'm much obliged to have her help me start these sunflower seeds. She's actually becoming quite skilled at it. Say hi. Say hi. I want to sit. Say, I planted seeds. Yeah. You did? Let it grow. Let it grow. <clears throat> it is now Friday morning. And on a typical week, uh, Friday mornings, I would spend the time cleaning my kitchen and um, baking more baked goods for the Saturday farmer's market as well as um, harvesting whatever needs to be harvested and putting together the produce baskets for the market. We are actually not going to a farmer's market this Saturday, so um, it's not a fully typical week, but I do have a few things out here that need to go ahead and be harvested. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that this morning and um, that'll pretty much wrap up a a typical slash atypical week in the life of. So come along with me as I harvest a few things.
Well, that's all for me for now. Um, I just finished, well, I finished harvesting a little while ago. Um, I have the flowers inside conditioning and the produce that needs to be refrigerated in the refrigerator. So, um, I am actually going to clean my kitchen and uh, just do a few things around the house to kind of set myself up for success for next week. So, there you have it. There's a week in the life of Squire Studio, suburban micro farm, and some of the things that we do um, to earn an income here on our homestead. Until next time, keep learning and keep growing.